Hi guys, I am going to be doing a haul video and I thought this was a great way for me to start making proper videos for you again. I am in my new room so this is the background that you're going to see and that humming noise you hear is my air conditioner unit but that has to be on because it is so hot and I am just excited to start filming for you guys so let me get started with the haul. Uh, this first item is a hot fuchsia pink whatever you want to call it fan and it's just so cute that I want to share it with you. My sister got it at a wedding and I thought this was just really, really nice and it does keep you cool. Uh, the next item is this Bed Bath & Beyond stacking jar. It's a two-tiered clear container and you can put Q-tips and cotton pads, which I'm going to use it for, but there's so many other uses. You can even use this in the kitchen if you wanted to or your office. Uh, so I would recommend that item and I'm excited to use it. I was saving it in here well I mean I moved and everything but I was all saving in here so you guys could see what it looks like and you know what I will open it up that's so silly you know I filmed this about like 30 times and none, none of the none of those times did I ever think to open it until now uh, but this is what it looks like and I just thought it was really pretty and you just lift it up like this to get to the bottom okay next is another thing for my sister actually the next few items will be for my sister uh, she brought me back this Peter Thomas Roth shampoo conditioner and lotion from a hotel she was staying at and I was really excited because it's a pretty high-end uh, brand and then she also gave me this Ico skinny liquid eyeliner she for some reason did not like it um, but I was excited to try it it looks like this and this is a swatch of it this one right here and I am so excited to try this this is, is a pretty fat marker to be honest but the point is not fat so excited to try that and she also gave me this super away lip color remover by Maybelline and I might do a video with this product wearing like a super bright lipstick that's hard to remove and see if this really works and keeping up with makeup, I um, also I also got this Jordana Fabuliner, which I've heard so many things about. This is also a liquid uh, eyeliner marker, and the swatch of it is that one right there. It's a little bit more watery than the Ico one, but I've heard so many great things that I'm excited to try it still. And the next item is this Rimmel Mascara. It's the Lash Accelerator Endless Grow Lash Complex Plus Fiber Mascara. Looks like this. It's a very skinny wand and I have tried this once and the one thing I can remember is it does separate your lashes really well but it doesn't hold my curl but I will have to give it a couple of more tries just to see. And uh, my mom got this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, the Perfector with primer inside. I may, it might be a little too dark for me. What's this color? Light medium. Maybe not. Uh, but she thought it was, it was going to be like that liquid press foundation, but this is a powder foundation. So I'm excited to try this. I really like the. I really like Maybelline foundations. Um, I'm not sure about powders, but I really like the the Maybelline Super Stay foundation. So I'm excited to try that. And she also brought me back from Costco. They were giving these free samples out. And these are really nice deluxe size samples. Uh, you get Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner. And also the Olay Ultra Moisture with Shea Butter Body Wash. So, love free stuff. <laughs> and what else did I want to share with you? I think that was pretty much it. I have... Oh, this one I want to show you is the seventh generation. This was a free beat too. It's the refreshing facial cleansing cloth in Mandarin, and I love trying out new facial uh, cleansing cloths, wipes, whatever you want to call them. So I'm excited to try this. The next items are clothing items. I went to Uniqlo and I actually went there to see if they had a Shiba Inu polo shirt. Um, it was like a special edition kind of shirt, but they didn't have any um, at the store that I went to anyway. Uh, but I did find two clothing items on sale. This was a pair of polka dot pants. These were $9.90 and they had so many colors and designs. And I normally don't wear print on the bottom half of me, but I thought this was a good way to start. It's a subtle, I mean it's subtle, but it's not in a way, but the color makes it subtle 
subtle and I thought ooh, this would look good with a black solid black t-shirt or like you know a solid color on top and then this polka dot sweatshirt I thought it was adorable I love sweatshirts and I know you guys are like you're crazy for buying a sweatshirt in summer but I really like them for going wearing to the movies inside a movie theater or restaurant if it gets really really cold sometimes places are freezing and I just like to have a cardigan or sweatshirt with me and I like hoodies just because in case I want to walk Ava and it's raining or something um, if it starts to rain let's say because this weather has been really really bizarre um, where it's beautiful and then it starts to rain on you okay and now the last thing is my new phone I I filmed on my phone for my update video but you guys really couldn't see the phone obviously uh, but this is my phone and it is just so pretty that's Ava in the front there if you could see her smiling uh, but this is my new phone I got the Samsung Galaxy S4 and it is totally different from the iPhone I feel really old when I'm using this because I'm always like I need help and I'm just like how do I do this but it's a really great phone I might switch back and forth between this uh, type of phone and the iPhone because the iPhone is easier to use and I maybe it's just one of those things where I've just gotten used to using the iPhone for so long uh, but this is a really good phone and I am still learning how to use it um, but yeah that's the end of this video I'm sorry if I seem like I was all over the place but it's when you haven't filmed in a while it's like kind of weird to get back on t on to filming again but I hope you guys enjoyed it and expect to see more videos from me in the future and I'll talk to you guys soon bye